Hello. My feedback to students based on program learning outcomes and rubrics. I'm Dr. Abdurrahman Qawasim. Contents. Program learning outcomes and key performance indicators. Rubrics, definition and how to calculate. And finally, feedback to students. Program learning outcomes. They are a description of knowledge, skills, competence, and values that should the student demonstrate after finishing an academic program. Program learning outcomes are distributed over courses, graduation projects, training, and extracurricular activities. Measuring learning outcomes is an important quality procedure to check their achievement. Achieving learning outcomes is an essential part of achieving the program's education objectives that are related to its mission. Program learning outcomes and KPIs. Every program learning outcome contains specific knowledge, skills, and values that can be explored through specific KPIs. Program learning outcomes KPIs show a specific knowledge skill or value to help the instructor to determine exactly the strengths and weaknesses of his students. Key performance indicators can be determined based on the contents of PLO, the steps to achieve the PLO, or the scientific contents behind the program learning outcome. Linking program learning outcome with KPI, we have an example of program learning outcome, which is number one from EBIT, uh, Commission Engineering Commission, an ability to identify, formulate, and solve complex engineering problems by applying principles of engineering, science, and mathematics. As we see here, I want to check my students relating to identification, formulation, and solving, and finally applying principles of engineering. So I have three KPIs that will show me the performance of my student. How can KPIs help you? Writing good quality questions that relate the scientific contents and represent the short way to evaluate the program learning outcome. Determining the real and specific weaknesses of the student and this will help you to find the best solution to help him. The evaluation results will be more accurate about achieving the learning outcome at course or program levels. Writing an efficient future action plan in your course report through specific activities and needed time. Rubrics. A rubric is a scoring tool that explicitly describes the instructor's performance expectations for an assignment or piece of work. Rubrics can be used to provide feedback to students on diverse types of assignments from papers, projects, and oral presentations to group projects. A carefully designed rubric can offer a number of benefits to instructors and students. Benefits of rubric to instructors. Reduce the time spent grading by allowing instructors to refer to a substantive description without writing long comments. Help instructors more clearly identify strengths and weaknesses across an entire class and adjust their instruction appropriately. Help to ensure consistency across time and across graders. Reduce the uncertainty which can accompany grading, discourage compliance about grades. Benefits of rubric to students. Understand instructors' expectations and standards. Use instructor feedback to improve their performance. Monitor and assess their progress as they work towards clearly indicated goals. Recognize their strengths and weaknesses and direct their efforts accordingly. Design of rubrics. We have here an example of design of a rubric for the program learning outcome and ability to identify, formulate, and solve complex engineering problems by applying principles of engineering, science, and mathematics. We have four categories, unsatisfactory, developing, satisfactory, excellent. We have the first KPI or one KPI from three KPIs 
as indicated in our previous example. The first KPI is about identification of the engineering problem. We have three, three arguments for this KPI. The approach that can the student use in order to identify the engineering problem. Uh, second, the identification itself. He could identify the problem or not. And third, how after identification, if the student could describe the engineering problem. Uh, we have four categories, as we said before, and for every argument, we have a description based on four categories. For example, for approach, we have could not find the correct approach to identify the problem. Developing could find the correct approach, but could it but could not link to the engineering problem. Satisfactory could find the correct approach to identify the problem. Excellent could couldn't could sorry could find the best and short approach to identify the engineering problem. So we have three arguments for one KPI. Now let's see the design of rubrics uh, based on numbering language. For categories weights, we have three, uh, four categories. For every category, we have one weight, unsatisfactory weight one, developing two, satisfactory three, excellent four. On our example for the first KPI, we have 25 students. And after correcting the exam, that is related or the question or the assignment or the project that is related to the identification of the genetic problem using three arguments. We have three sub questions, question about the approach, question about the identification and question about the description of the problems or all of them in one questions where it contains these three arguments. After that, after correction, we see that our 25 students, they are distributed over the, the four uh, categories. Uh, for example, for approach, we have nine students in unsatisfactory. We have four students developing, five students satisfactory, and seven students excellent. Uh, but I have to say that there are margins for every category. For example, unsatisfactory, from 0 to 60 percent, developing from 60 to 75, for example, from 75 to 90 satisfactory, and from 90 to 100 excellent, and you can change your margins. Now we have calculations. We can use this equation, Robrex argument. This is then one, the number of students in first category, and two, the number of students in the second category, and three, number of students in the third category, and N4, number of students in the fourth category. As, as you see, every category has a weight, weight one for unsatisfactory, weight two for developing, weight three for satisfactory, and weight four for excellent students. We are multiplying the number of students in each category with its weight. After that, we summing the result and divided by the total number of students multiplied by the highest score, uh, highest, highest weight, weight, sorry, which is number four, multiplied by 100 percentage. So if we calculate for the first argument about approach, we will see we have 60 percent. For identification, we have 59 percent. And for description 59, if we took the average of all arguments, we will have the results of the Roprex for the first KPI for the program learning outcome. Also, we can calculate the same using another way. We will sum the students in every category for all arguments. After that, we will multiply by weights and divide it by 75 which means 25 for every uh, for every argument and it, because we have three arguments and the total of students 25 multiplied by 375 and we will have the first result as you see the result of Robrex is below the benchmark which is 59.32 which is less the benchmark 75 the benchmark can be 75 885 it depends on the program itself 
if we used <clears throat> after the evaluation all the KPIs and we have KPI 1, KPI 2, KPI 3, we can take the average and we will have the evaluation result of our program learning outcome. My feedback based uh, for two students. My feedback for two students, as you see here in green color, the student number one. For example, student number one, he took <clears throat> satisfactory for the approach and satisfactory for identification and developing for description, uh, taking all weights, summing all weights, divided by 12. Why 12? Because we have the total, the maximum grade is for the category excellent four and we have three arguments for multiply three equals 12 so we have that the result is 67 percentage which is not achieved based on the benchmark 75 so the student number one should give a feedback from these three <coughs> arguments and the feedback can be as the following that you could correctly find the approach and you could identify the engineering problem but you need more skills and you know need to uh, to enhance your performance uh, regarding the describing for example uh, the engineering problem you know the problem but you need to read uh, to, re to write more about the problem this is the description of the problem uh, for student number two as you see it took a good grade the for uh, approach he took excellent and for the identification he took satisfactory and for description of the problem he took also excellent so the sum is 11 divided by 12 which means 92 this students achieved the uh, program learning outcome or the kpi if we have only one kpi for or for one uh, plo which means he achieved uh, this KPI and he has the needed skills. Conclusions. Using the KPI rubrics is an effective method to evaluate the achievement of program learning outcomes. KPI rubrics describes precisely the student's weaknesses and this will help the instructor to determine the real problems and writing a real action plan. The program learning outcomes KPI's rubrics evaluation procedure helps students to improve their performance based on the specific and accurate feedback sent to them by instructor. Thank you for listening.